here speaking with Reggie, who is at the Real Time New York conference and he just was part of a panel uh, that was going on in the main room at BB King's. He's going to give us a little bit of information about some of the tips that he shared as well as information about his company which is very exciting. It's growing really quickly since I met him last year in San Francisco at TwitterCon. So hi. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Social is, is changing every day. There are new channels, um, so we're in a very quickly evolving landscape. Um, so the tools, none of them are really in, in their destination state. And what we're seeing is different clusters of providers all moving towards each other. Um, so we, we talked about listening tools, we talked about Facebook tools, we talked about engagement tools, and we really talked about all of them evolving to be what is going to be called as a social CRM um, and then my take on it is that eventually there will be social CRM companies um, and there will be social CRM vendors that are focused in small and medium businesses and there are going to be so, uh, social CRM vendors that are going to be focused on mid-sized businesses and large enterprises. We're building Sprinkler to be the social CRM platform for very large companies companies like Cisco Systems and Dell Computers, Virgin America, I'll use them because they have been on panels and have announced that they are our clients, but we've got a lot more clients of that size and scale. Um, so we have clients uh, that use us across the world, so 15 countries, um, 230 seats, you know, 30 different business units with the central social media team um, having transparency into what every team is doing and getting reporting that is rolled up that tells the brand let's say a company like Microsoft a company like Target visualize them being able to know what's going on in social across their entire enterprise and in rolled up state so you know whether your brand is getting healthy or is getting weak in social media so allowing companies to be more responsive to if they so choose to be so when you think about social media management or social CRM, there are distinct components to it. Most people think about social media as a publishing platform. So they think about social content management systems. And for us, that's only a piece of the puzzle. So yes, publishing is important. What you have to say is important. And it's a bit of a challenge to be able to post to and manage all these different tools. Um, but that's just one piece of the puzzle. Um, once you do that, what you really have to also do is manage conversations because these people are going to respond back to you. So we worked with one of our clients two weeks ago, as I mentioned, processed 27,000 messages in real time. It was one of the larger technology conferences in America. And we had four community managers, actually three and a half community managers, parsing 27,000 messages in four days and in real time responding to every message that needed a response. So what we did was we rolled out our semantic natural language processing engine to identify questions from within these messages and put them in a different queue. Identify complaints, put it in a different queue. Identify compliments, put it in a different queue. Identify messages that are directly addressed at the brand as opposed to conversations between each other. So by color coding these, we're quickly able to figure out identifying messages from influencers, identifying messages from people who have engaged with you in the past. So all of a sudden, these 27,000 messages are going into 12 different message queues, and we've got community managers processing messages that's a question, hey, why are the bathrooms not good? Or why isn't the Wi-Fi working? That would immediately be relayed back to the event organizers where they are, and it will be assigned within the tool, assigned to a queue. So there are three event managers looking at it, somebody looking at it going, I'm going to assign it to Mary, who's going to follow up. And you can do all that from within the platform and then respond back and track it to completion. How do you envision that maybe this would trickle down into the small business sector? No, it's actually going the other way. There are tools that are built for a small business. In fact, there are a lot of tools that are built for tool, um, small businesses. You can use tools like TweetDeck or Hootsuite or many of those that are really built for consumers and small businesses. But the, and, and those are really good for publishing and they're good for seeing if someone's mentioning you. But in terms of the color coding and the, be, the buckets and the semantics, that's a more sophisticated level that's not, that's not available yet. 
to your knowledge. Correct, correct. So those companies have really focused on providing the basic functionality to as many clients as possible. Whereas we focus on the enterprise market and we've built out all those massive technology engine and architecture to process volume and scale and distribute a needs. Small companies don't need, they're not getting 27,000 messages, right? But what we're building, so to complete the previous conversation, we talked about content, right? But then conversation management is another piece. And that's the third piece. How do you understand your audience? So I personally have 39,000 people on, uh, following me on Twitter. Who are they, right? Without knowing who they are, how can I come up with smart content for them? So using a product like ours, you can color code the audience now. Show me the influencers, show me people engaging with me. They're all scored and identified with flags. And then we'll show you, hey, show me all the people who are in social media. Show me all the people who are in the US. Show me who are the people who are influencers in New York City who are interested in social media and are following me. And here are the 12 people. And how can I, maybe I can invite them for a breakfast. So that's really the power of audience management. Then you need reporting, not just content reporting, you need campaign reporting, right? Because you can't, you have to compare apples to apples. You can't just compare engagement because one month you might have retweeted Justin Bieber's video. That is not brand engagement. You just had good content. So you have to organize things into campaigns and initiatives and be able to get reporting to understand what content is working, what campaign is working, what channel is working. You know, what's the impact of dialing up outbound publishing on follower acquisition and engage? It's a lot of variables. It's a lot of variables. And just while you're talking, I'm thinking uh, some people are needing a paper bag to hyperventilate in right now because they're like, oh, my God, I can't do this.